It's Fisher and Cage live on location. I love it. Forward Glass. We're at 611 Central. This is the newest art gallery in St. Pete. And well, on Saturday, they've got the grand opening going on. We'll be out here three to five. Parker, what's up, buddy? I'm here with Fisher and Cage. <laughs> Parker, Just hanging out. Parker, one of the owners here. We're going to go over some of the uh, pieces we have in front of us. Uh, you know, uh, Jesse calls it an art gallery, and it is. It but is it's more gallery. than just an art gallery. It's a practical art gallery. You can actually use these pieces for various things, like breathing. Mm. Mm. Nice deep breathing exercises. Mm. Yes. Also, getting me ready to eat more Cheetos. <laughs> Take it for what it is. Well, we're I very, enjoy it. We're very excited. It's the grand opening this weekend. Make sure you join us on Saturday starting at 11 o'clock. It'll go until 8 o'clock that night. Jesse and I will be out here from 3 until 5. Mm -hmm. uh, while we're out here, too, uh, there's a benefit going on. One of the uh, famed glass blowers, for those of you that are in the know, um, B. Wilson has stage 4 testicular cancer and uh, is fighting that battle, that hard, hard battle. So when you come out here, um, the proceeds from that day from the raffles uh, that you will uh, donate money towards mm -hmm. will, uh, will turn into these three pieces right here that will be given away throughout the day. I need, I need the details now on these three pieces because we talked a little money before. Mm -hmm. And so you guys reaching for your wallets. Yeah, we were, we were right in there like, ooh. He's reaching for Jesse's wallet. <laughs> well, I don't like it when you put your hands in my pocket, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm not down with that. But tell us about these three pieces that when people come out that they could get in the raffle for. All right, we have three pieces gener that were generously donated from Hitman, which this is a sandblasted Sunday cup. And the function on that is quite superb as it spins bubbles around the top. And that piece is fully sandblasted, as I said. And that piece retails at around $700. Ooh. So quite an expensive piece that we're raffling away. Now, um, number two. Number two here, which was generously donated by Pulse Glass, is their oil barrel rig, which features a gridded barrel disc in the bottom that leads to a barrel perk in the top. Okay, so before you, you test this thing out, just mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about a, a, a disc and a perk. What exactly? I mean, if, if somebody doesn't know, mm -hmm. like me, tell me what exactly each piece is going to do. Now this piece here in the bottom, mm -hmm. the gridded barrel, is going to split up the bubbles through these little slits okay. that are in it, and it'll shoot bubbles throughout the entire barrel, so 360 degree percolation. Mm -hmm. And the perk here up top has smaller slits, allowing for extra percolation up at the top. I need a lot of percolation. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Percolate. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Have you uh, fired this one off here for us? Fired. Oh, wow. Yep. Percolation. And this piece is how much? This piece is $620 retail. It sure is. Yeah. Look it at that. It sure is a beauty. But the, again, this goes back that this is art. Mm. And art to be appreciated. And functional art it is. But my God, the how much time would go into a piece like this to create this? The time that would go into a piece creating like this, first you'd have to start off with lathe work, which is the shaping of the pieces. Mm. And then you'll, which will take about a couple hours, I'd say two on this piece. And then you'll have to do the individual color work that's mm -hmm. added on the bottom and on the sides, which will take about 30 minutes. And then you'll have to actually shape this oil barrel stem at the top, which will take about an hour to that's shape. Process. So you can do this all in a day? <clears throat> yes, this all right. can all be done in a day. Because you said there's some up here that uh, it would take you two weeks to do. Mm -hmm. Which ones are those? That would be this piece right here, which is a... Now, this seems a lot less intricate than that one. Why is this one something that takes two weeks? This takes two weeks because you have to individually cold work each shape and picture. Wow. Which takes a day, at least, to do each individual picture. But the thing is, you will get to cut down each picture for multiples, such as the trees that line the bottom, mm -hmm. the stars that run around and each individual ball that runs around as well. And the center section here had to be individually made and then welded on between the two of the mouthpiece and the base of the beaker. And then there is actually a space cap on the back as well as a space down stem and a space slide, wow. making a nice little space set that's a feature. That, I love it work. so much. I just and, and you have to. It's not going to 
be served justice just by this camera view right now. You've got to come down here on Saturday. You've got to be here for the grand opening because just to see the little pieces, I want to live here. I want to live inside right here. There's the, the little trees and the stars. I mean, this is I would it's live absolutely, it's beautiful. I would live in there if I had that. I, you know, uh, when I see these pieces now, which one, uh, how much does this run right here? This piece runs at $5,000. $5,000 uh, piece. Mm. Now, so that is art then. That You don't that use that if it's... If it's a five thousand, oh, right? It's functional. No, you display it. You let everyone look at it, and occasionally you may take it out for some use. Maybe like if the president comes over or something. Do you have the president? Special come over occasions. Or well, I think if I have a five thousand piece of five thousand dollar piece of art like this, a lot of people would be coming over to my house. Well, I'll be there. Exactly. Nice. I don't like that you're going to wait for the president. I'm 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 one of your best friends. You're just going to keep that locked up in the case. No. I, don't, I don't appreciate that no. at all. Uh, maybe maybe the six hundred fifty dollar one, but not the uh, five thousand well, dollar. Well, at least I know where I rank in your world, so do that's you, fantastic. Is there royalty in your blood? I'm going to need to see some papers on you. Didn't we do that that death thing where you know the the reincarnation thing we talked about a couple weeks oh, ago? Oh, that's right. You were. Oh so, yeah, I was like some sort of. I was a prince. Oh, that's right. You were a prince somewhere along the way. I think I was also a princess, too, which was weird. I don't know where that came from, but it's fine. All right, all right. That's two lines of royalty right there. There we go. Now I definitely got that. Well, you break it out. You break out the $5,000. He was a prince and a princess, so you're good then. Good, good. All right, can we guess? Can we take a guess real quick? Because we're going to describe a couple other pieces. And for those of you that come down here for the grand opening on Saturday, um, it's more than just these. You have other pieces here as well. For instance, these are amulets. These are pendants. <laughs> pendants. Amulets. Amul I like to think of it as an amulet, though it has magical powers. Oh, we're mine like a brooch. I would say they do. All right, start right, <laughs> start right here. You knew exactly what that was. Yes. We walked in the back, and we're looking at the pendants, and I'm like, well, that's cool. There's like a, there's a wily coyote over there, and there was some sort of other dragon deal, and I was like, holy S, man. That is Reptar. Uh, is, is that, is that uh, Star Trek? <laughs> no. No, no, it's not. You think I'm effing around, yeah. but I, I really don't know who ripped. I mean, I, you, I probably For do sure. if you, when you yeah, tell me, right? You, you can Google it. Well, I'm, just I'm, tell like me. Going, I'm like going into Rugrats with you right now. Parker, tell me what Reptar is. You just got a hint and you missed it. Rugrats? No. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. I, what? Oh, <laughs> Star Trek. You well, Rugrats was, you know, I would think I was already an adult when that came out. Everybody knows Reptar. All right. Well, I don't know Reptar. Well, well, is this from Rugrats too? No. All right. No, good. That isn't. What do we have? Well, so how much does this cost? What would that run? This piece comes with a pendant, or with a piece actually, oh. a matching reptar rig. Oh, that's, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that changes yes. everything. I didn't see that piece. And that all together will total at $2,000. That piece will be showing at our gallery huh? opening on May 23rd. In so this day and age, will you guys do more business uh, online, uh, you know, shipping out than you would walk in traffic? Or is that something you'll figure out as you go? It's been growing, definitely. The online traffic is great right now, especially in the social media presence on Instagram. That is a large presence of people within the glass artist community. Glass artists are posting their pieces there for sale and nowhere else, so you, ha you have to have a strong presence in Instagram. Are you a glass blower yourself? No, I'm not, but I am a glass enthusiast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So 611 Central, and the thing is, is especially on the weekends, just so much foot traffic that goes right by. I walk by every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, there's always you know something going on down here. And whether it's the, the little markets that get set up, I mean, this is the perfect location for you guys. I'll be stopping by. Chances are to look at glass and dream about the day that uh, I get that $5,000 piece of glass. But, mm. you know. Thank you. Right. And don't forget, we will be uh, uh, raffling off these three pieces in the middle mm -hmm. um, on Saturday as well. These three. Oh, not that Oh, sorry. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Oh, here we go. All Move right. that back over. There we go. So we didn't touch on the last piece here for no. the raffle. Explain what we got going on here and how much this one's worth. This last piece was donated by Jeff Heathbar. And he does Sounds the lathe. Delicious. <laughs> it's very flavorful. <laughs> he does the lathe work of the marinas. Maria's right in the middle. And then he does his own individual color work and fuming. Wow. Making for a beautiful mini tube. And this piece, we also have several more of in our gallery in different colors. So you don't have to worry about the raffle winner having the same piece as you. <laughs> this piece uh, is valued at $300. So a great steal. And the, and, the, and the most expensive one up here today, and I'm sorry, we're focusing, you know, Jesse and I are focusing on the uh, price of things because this is so absolutely amazing right. that you can get something like this for this. And the most, if you were to pick right now which piece up here was likely the most expensive one, which one would you choose? We'll be back after this. Just kidding. No, nope, no, I was like, just pause for a second. Is everybody <laughs> looking at the camera? Wait for it. Hopefully you've made your... 
Really, nope, bro? Nope. You didn't even give, no. him, a, you didn't give him a chance. You gave he him thought a it chance. was. He thought it was. No, he's he wrong. He had plenty. He had plenty. He's, he's incorrect. Oh, oh you are see? incorrect. I, I know. Oh. Misdirection. That's all that was. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, that one in the end. Yes, you are correct. Ah, oh, this one Winner. at the end. Now bring that to the middle. I don't want to touch it if it's the most expensive one. Fisher knows what it's like to lose middle. to me in these type of things, so Way every too week that's what happens. Now the one I did point to is a $5,000 piece, right? Yes, that is. And, uh, and it's by who? That is by Ham Waterworks. Known, is, known for the... Known the, for the functionality of his pieces. And the science that goes into it, right? Yes, he has been blowing glass for 20 plus years. And during that duration of his time, he has also been studying airflow not just with pieces, but the actual science behind airflow and water flow, and then incorporates that science into his piece work. For, so you, if you hit that right now. Do you want to go ahead and? I'll go ahead and hit that. You, get, hit, hit that. I'll pass that over there. Yep. That is a chugger. That is just <laughs> the coolest. I would hit it and feel like Mr. Wizard. Oh, yeah, I, I wouldn't leave the house. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, but that isn't the most expensive piece we have up here today. No, that is not. And this next one is called the Wormhole? Yes, it is a JD Maples Den solo wormhole done with 24 karat gold fuming over half life. What does that mean? 24 karat gold fuming. That is where he melts down the gold and individually lays that onto the glass. And so this process is the, done the, through rake and fume where he takes individual wires and puts it on there and then pulls it off. That's oh incredible. My God. All right, so what does that thing do? Well, might as well. Can May I slip in there? Go for it. All right, but don't oh, tell me how don't, much. Oh, my God. Don't I'll tell wait. me how. Uh, we don't have insurance. Go for it first. I'm gonna hold, I mean, they may have insurance. I'm going to make, make sure this piece doesn't pendant. hit this piece. Swing All right, pendant. here we go. Oh, God. And so I just suck myself. Like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just sucked myself into a wormhole. There it was. Gotcha. There you go. Gotcha. <laughs> just sucked myself. Pause. Period. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> that is awesome. And uh, one of the pieces up here is also by the artist that this will bit this event on Saturday will benefit. B. Wilson. Yes. Uh, B. Wilson, who right now is uh, battling cancer, and we wish him the best of luck on that. Mm -hmm. And that is his piece right down here. Yes. Here we have his piece. All right which is a black and slime inline to triple donut featuring an 18 millimeter slide. You are an enthusiast. Oh, I feel like that was some sort of uh, skateboard trick. <laughs> yeah. that just described. I used to do that. That's great. And how much is this piece here? This piece is $350. All right, in our range, my man, in our range. What do you have, mouse Everyone's in range. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much for showing us yeah. these pieces. We're really excited about this Saturday. We want everybody to join us on Saturday as well. If you don't make it down here on Saturday, that is their grand opening, mm -hmm. and we'll be open for business if you want to get down here and peruse. You, you want to get down here on Saturday. What else, uh, before we jump off this, so we've got the raffle going on, tell us what else is happening on Saturday specifically. What else we have happening on Saturday specifically is we have you all coming out to do a show. Oh, these guys, yeah. Which is fantastic. These cats. We have the raffle going on. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the Avenue coming out to do catering for us mm. with adult drinks and great food. Beverages, mm. food, and glass. Well, yes. Where could you want? And we'll see you at Forward Glass this Saturday with Fisher and Cage.